Hey everybody, welcome back to The Odds Couple. I'm Sid Rosenberg, sitting alongside expert handicapper, the esteemed Mark Lawrence, my main man and publisher of the spectacular playbook.com. It's always good to see you. Likewise, Sid, great to be back with you. Thank you. I'm wearing my giant jersey today because they've looked so good as of late. <laughs> Mark, how about it? Two perfect teams still standing at 11-0 and this season. As both the Saints and the Colts proved us wrong, we both thought they would both lose this week. Stay tuned for the picks later on in the program. But first, let's talk about the hot trends. Before I get to that, excuse me, the hot trends from playbook.com. Tell me about the Saints and the Colts. They both stay undefeated. You and I were under the impression they were both going to lose this week. I thought they were both going to lose the football games, but to their credit, they didn't. The Saints played their best football game probably ever, yeah, okay? arguably yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. The Colts found another way to come back after a poor start and win another football game. These two football teams look like they may be destined to meet in the Super Bowl. Yeah, they may be. I mean, I, I still Minnesota still, Brett Favre yes. still scares me, but you, that, we, that may be right. And Patriots, a lot of guys like, who like New England, like I did, they dropped a lot of notches after Monday. Yes, they sure did. But look for New England, I think, to bounce back this week. Agreed. Take it on Miami. Let's go to the trends, though. Playbook.com. Three hot trends each and every week. Doing very well on this program. Trend number one. The Broncos were a home dog last Thursday night against my football Giants. They won going away by 20. Now they visit Kansas City. But December has not been kind to Denver in this scenario. No, it hasn't, Sid, especially when they're playing off a double-digit point spread win, just 1-9 to the spread the last 10 times in the month of December for the Broncos in this particular role. They're going to go into the TP at Arrowhead to take on the Chiefs here. I think they get scalped. Right, we'll see. I'll talk about that game later okay. on in the program. Back-to-back -back divisional games here for the Seattle Seahawks, Mark. Last week they won in St. Louis. How do you think they'll fare back home against a team I like now, San Francisco? If we take a look at the Seattle Seahawks. Hit 1-13 to the spread. As a division favorite off a division win. Ouch. That's a bad number here for them now. They're going to be at home this particular week hosting San Francisco, a team that you never know what you're going to get out of Mike Singletary's team. A good effort always, but the result you never know here. But I do not like laying points with Seattle, especially in this role. 1-13, I'll fade the Seahawks. Niners are up on the come. They're getting better every single yes. week. At Crabtree and Vernon Davis and Frank Gore, and I think they become a very dangerous football team late this year and next year they Perhaps could be a real year. player. Trend number three here, Mark Lawrence. The Atlanta Falcons are looking for back-to-back -back wins at home. May not be in the cards this Sunday against Philly. No Matt Ryan. No Michael Turner. Eagles a game behind Dallas. They need the football game. Looks like a bad spot on paper for the Falcons. Looks like a real bad spot on paper for the Falcons here. So aside from those two major losses, and those are two Pro Bowl players you're talking about here, they're just 1-12 to the spread at home off a home win. Ooh. They were never any good when they had their players. They don't have them this week against the Eagles. I think the Eagles fly past the Falcons. We'll talk about that game later in the pick okay. segment as well. Time now to dip into our mailbag, Mark, to answer a question from one of our viewers. John in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, your man, my man. Yes, yes. Not much to be proud of with his brownies, obviously, but uh, they've covered two straight. Will the Browns make it three in a row as a heavy home dog against San Diego? Another game I'm going to talk about later on in the program. Well, I know I kind of get a feeling where you're going to go in this football game, but I do not want any part of my Cleveland Browns this week. I'm sorry, guys. I love the Browns. I love the dog pound. I love everything about Cleveland except their football team. This team really sucks win right now. They're eight times they've scored 200 or gained less than 200 yards in a football game. That's pathetic. That's college football pathetic for a football team like the Cleveland Browns. And if, by the way, if you're a suicide football pool player here, how about this? The Browns as double-digit underdogs in their expansion history won and 34. Wow. They will not win this football game. That's all I'll say. I'm working with <laughs> you for a long time here doing this program, which I love dearly. Never heard you say suck until today. Until today. That means they really suck. That means they have bad feelings yeah, about the Yeah, exactly. Browns. Remember, if you have any <laughs> handicapping questions, feel free to send Mark and I an email at theoddscouple at opensports.com. That's theoddscouple at opensports.com. We've been doing real well in our picks. We'll do that next. We're making you money right here on The Odds Couple.